Hey, what's up, Chad here. I am in Cebu City in IT Park, one of the city's sort of premier districts, sort of a business lifestyle district. Tons of call centers, restaurants, there's a big mall here, lots of nightlife and entertainment. So you get a lot of foreigners here, there's tons of Airbnbs, places to stay. It's just a good central location, very safe. So I'm gonna wander around today. I wanna to meet Filipinas and find out, first of all, if they would ever consider being in a relationship with a foreigner and then try to find out some information. Something that's come up uh, in conversations that I've had or people commenting on my videos is, what's the best way to approach and meet a Filipina? Is it get online back home and meet someone that way, come here and then get online, or just meet them in person. Just be here and be friendly and go up and talk to somebody. So I've heard mixed things on this. So I want to get out and just get some opinions and see what I can find out. So I'm going to wander around and see who I can find to uh, chat with me and get some of that info so I can share it with you guys. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Nice to meet you all. Hey. Uh, hi. <laughs> well, first of all, would you guys ever consider being in a relationship with a foreigner? Yes. yes. Actually, I'm just, that's what I'm looking So I'll, I'll start with you guys. Would you rather meet a foreigner online on a dating site, like while they're back in their country, or would you rather meet them when they're already here in person? I'd rather to meet her in person. You'd rather meet in person? Yeah. yeah. So just like this, coming up, someone coming yeah. up, oh, saying yes, hi, yes. Of how you doing? Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had anyone come up to you and talk no, to you like a foreigner? Not yet. <laughs> Are you comfortable with it, or does it make you nervous? I'm just making nervous. It makes you a bit nervous, but yes. you'd rather it still. Yes. What would be the best way for a foreigner to approach you? A lot of people do online now. So what's the best approach in person? Um, like uh, approaching in the right manners. So be polite. Yes. yes. Just be nice yes. and friendly uh -uh. and just introduce themselves. Yeah. Anywhere, a mall, a park, doesn't matter. Doesn't what about you? What would you rather in person or on a dating site? Um, I think in person. You'd rather that too? Yes. And why? Um, because you can see uh, genuinely like like this face to face, not in online. Sometimes in online is like fake. You don't they know who you're average. talking to. Yeah, yeah you, you're not sure if they're oh, really yes, yes. who they say they are. And so you'd rather meet someone that's already here, yes. come up and talk to you, get to know you. What about you? Me, um, First I, <laughs> no, dating site okay. then. After we're comfortable with each other, so we're gonna decide, okay, let's meet each other, something like that. <laughs> no, I like that. That's great because a lot of people do yes. feel that way. So, why would you rather on a dating site first? Because I want to know more the person. Because when we say we can face. Uh, can I? What's yes. English? <laughs> when we accidentally meet that person, we don't know yet what's the attitude of that foreigner since. We don't know each other yet, like that. So I'd rather uh, talk, uh, talk to, talk to online, first. On, online first, something like and that. Get to know them a little bit, yeah. Yes. Ask some questions first. Personal information, something like that. Would you rather them be in their country and get to know them and then they come over here to meet you? Or would you be more comfortable if they're already here where you can chat online and meet them real quick? Here first, I'd rather You'd rather them already be here, yeah. not be far away. Yeah, yes. What about you? Online or in person? Um, online first. Online first. And why is that for you? Um, just like her, uh, I want to know the person first online before meeting the person. Does it make you a little uncomfortable if someone just walks up to you and introduces yes. themselves and yes. puts you on the spot? Yes, because for me it's... Uh, right. Yeah. A lot of people feel that way. They're, they're a little bit thrown off by someone yeah. coming up. Do you feel that way too? If someone yeah. just starts Same. talking to you and wants your number, it yeah. makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. Yes, it makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. Because I don't know yet the person. He's a stranger then. Why I should entertain something like that? Mm. It's not you... that I'm, ju I'm choosy, but I'm just making myself safe. Just, you know, don't trust directly to the person you want to take your time and online yes. it allows you to do that yeah. gotcha are there any dating apps that you have tried do 
do you recommend this for foreigners to try? Yeah. <laughs> why, why do you like that one? Because, uh, so that they can find her. <laughs> so that they can find her directly. <laughs> the Philippines because sometimes further I only hear the in Mandawi City something like that so when we meet up it's just so easy yeah. and so, so there's easy. a lot of foreigners on Pina Love yeah and some of them are already here yeah nearby. right nearby nearby yeah. uh, are most of them near yeah they're not in the US or other no, countries. Not in the US. Some. Some, huh. some in the US, but I some, in, are, but some here are already only, here. Yeah. So that's something you'll, you want to find out right away. Yeah. Are you here or are you thousands of miles away? <laughs> What's an ideal first place to meet? <laughs> Restaurant. <laughs> Go for dinner. Oh, yeah. So chat for a bit. Uh, video chat first? Video chat. Oh, video chat. For sure, right? Yeah. And then meet in person. Yeah. Gotcha. What are the characteristics? of Filipinas in a relationship. Caring. That's always the number one thing. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Charming. Loving. And very loving. Um, <laughs> by like by like cooking cooking your food, like Definitely. doing the courses and uh, wife material. So cooking, doing things to help out with, yeah. with cooking and cooking amazing food too, Filipino food. You said wife material. Yeah. What is wife material? Um, as girls can be like responsible, yeah. doing the house chores. Yeah. Um, cook for her, for him, and. What about? Um, I always hear this, and I've, I've experienced it here, meeting people. Very family oriented. Yeah. Yes. So like, you can rely on a Filipina to be a really good mom and family person, right? Yeah. That's definitely a big thing. All right, and the last question: Why a foreigner, guys? Why? Why do you want to meet a foreigner? Oh! It's safe our future. <laughs> no, it's not just our future is safe, but you just want most of the Filipino are we can we can trust, but in a foreigner we can say that they are faithful. They're they're loyal. So that's that's one thing. You, yeah. you feel that they'll be for more loyal. For me only, yeah. For me. Yeah. I don't know the others. You. <laughs> Why foreigner? Why a foreigner? <laughs> Why foreigner? No. No. For me, um, there's a big difference between foreigner and Filipino. Like in the Filipino, they're common like cheating in yes, person, really? knowing that they have best friends cheating each other. Like in the foreigner, like when you give them love. They will give you faith, or caring for the foreign, and then the foreign will give you love and give you whatever you want. Gotcha. Okay. Are there physical characteristics that a foreigner is that part of it? Like, is yes. it? Yes. What is? Okay. All right. Tall, like, and their nose. I always hear and that. And the color of the eyes. And the eyes. eyes. Especially the what eyes. about the nose? It's so like tall, perfectly long, long, pointy. Yeah. So you like. Long pointy noses, mm. eyes, eye color. Oh, eye color. I love um, mix green and gray. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. What about you? Jeans. Ah, the jeans oh, are my yeah. oh, my God, I love my babies. It's handsome, beautiful. beautiful baby. Yes, the combination of <laughs> Filipino and American. Some no uh, foreigners. Just, just any, I know. The combination of the, my God, my baby is so cute. So water. <laughs> What about a lot of these guys live in other countries? They would like to meet someone and go back to their country. Is that enticing? Is that part of it? Like, would you guys want to meet someone and go to the US or go to Europe or Australia? Is that part of why you like foreigners? Like no, lifestyle, like, yeah. opportunity, stuff like that. We want to go other countries because we can afford <laughs> Honestly, no, we can't afford in going to other countries. So, if ever, mm, marry, if we are given a chance to marry a foreigner, so it's our chance to go to other country. Opportunity. It's an advantage also because it, mm, it's a part. No, so I that. I want to travel other countries, but not not in the not in a, in a negative way. But in a past, before mm. going there, you can't go to the country with my loved ones, the foreigner. Eh! Oh. <laughs>
it adds some excitement to meeting a yeah. foreigner. I get it. And what about you guys? It's the last question. Is that part of the um, what makes it exciting to maybe meet a foreigner? Is it to be able to have a n new lifestyle and maybe live in a different country? Is that part of it? Oh yes, of course. Okay. So, so you get like. In the side of the boy and the foreigner, you need to go to the side of the boy to know the living culture and the religious. Got it. Cool. And you as well? Yes. What would you like? What do you like about that? Maybe it's a part of our relationship. Like, you travel to the place of the foreigner, then to the Philippines, like that. Got it. Guys, thank you so, so much. Thank you. I'll give you the, you the YouTube channel here. I'll What's be posting the name it of your YouTube channel? Uh, Chad Foster Explores. Chad Foster. Chad Foster, my name, and then okay. Explores at the end. Okay, we'll subscribe. I'll try to put this up like tonight or tomorrow morning. Okay, so. thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, who's watching? Aren't these ladies amazing? Thanks for your time. Thank Appreciate you. it. Y'all have a great day. More subscribers. Please Bye. like and subscribe. <laughs> I appreciate it. Bye. All right. You guys Thank have you. a wonderful day. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. You. See ya. All right, guys. I was about to leave after that amazing interview with these wonderful people, and they just offered for me to. This is so Filipino, guys. If you ever come here, they just said, "Don't leave. We're about to eat," and they're eating their national fish, milk fish, bangus. Check this out. They are setting up a picnic right now and invited me to join them. I love the Philippines. We have fried Look at this. Ladies fingers. We have ladies fingers. Steam ladies oh, yeah. fingers. Oh, yeah. So right. okra, and eggplant, and, and milk fish. fish. Yeah. Then the is, is corn, corn rice. Corn rice. Corn rice. Corn rice. Corn rice. I've never even tried yeah. that. That's no, amazing. Wait, you must you have tried it. it. I'm, I'm going to stick around, I think, and try <laughs> this with you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Food was amazing. I just had lunch with these wonderful people. They were so nice. Thanks again, you guys. We'll see ya. Thank you for joining Thank us. You. Thank you. Nice meeting you, Mr. Chad. Nice meeting you all, too. See you soon. See you soon. Oh, guys, how great was that? Such a pleasure to meet wonderful people like that that would not only be completely welcoming and friendly to just have a chat with me, to you know, to learn some things, but also to extend their lunchtime with me and offer me uh, some of their food. It's just a wonderful trait of a lot of Filipinos here that they do things like that, is they want to share their food with you. They want to share their, their time to get to know you, things like that. So awesome, awesome uh, opportunity to meet all of them. They shared, I think, some great info. And it was great to just kind of get different opinions on, on the topic of, you know, dating a foreigner. And obviously my main thing was to find out, you know, what's the best way to go about meeting someone online versus in person. And there's, you know, obviously there's different uh, opinions on that for different reasons, but I think it just kind of goes to show that depending on your personality and what you're comfortable doing, there are people out there that will be in line with what your uh, with what your comfort is. So, you know, if you want to come here to the Philippines and just be friendly and meet someone, I think the main thing to take from that is just be nice, just be friendly, just introduce yourself, and um, you know, look at it, look at it as you're just trying to make a friend, you know, and that's all it should be from the beginning, anyways. And then if you're more comfortable being online to kind of go really slow, that's good too. I think just be honest, be yourself, and be a, be a nice person. Let's just spread good vibes here in the Philippines, and um, there's someone there for you for sure. So just be patient, be cool, be yourself, and uh, you'll find somebody. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you learned something from this, and we'll see you in the next video.